we're in Philadelphia. How does it feel? It feels balmy. <laughs> balmy. It's but about, it's about 100 and degrees fans right in now. Philadelphia. Yes. It is, uh, this is truly a, a dream come true. It's, um, it's just profoundly humbling. Did you ever think when you went into this that you'd be standing here about to watch Philadelphia vs. Rexon? Um, I could never have guessed the specifics of what would have happened, but we knew from the very beginning that this could be a possibility. So to see it realized is uh, a dream come true. And this has been a great tour, right, for, for Wrexham. And there's been people that have come over from Wrexham and followed the whole thing. Yes. Yes, Wayne and his entire contingent. Uh, I've actually seen a, a lot of people that have come in, started in North Carolina, then gone out to the West Coast, then turn around coming back to the East Coast to finish up in Philadelphia and then are going back for the first game of the season, which I cannot believe is going to be next Saturday. And looking ahead to next Saturday, the first match uh, in the new season in a new league, how do you feel about that? I cannot believe it's beginning again, um, but I'm so excited. It's, it's the first time that, that Wrexham will be in the EFL in 15 years. Uh, I think the whole town is going to come out for that as well, and we're hoping for a, a good outcome. And what have you been doing as a team to prepare for that? Well, we've been playing these friendlies, and um, and I know that uh, it's it's almost entirely the squad from last year. We've signed very few new players, um, of which I know they're they're, they're a welcome uh, addition. But this is a lot of the same, most of the same team that won last year. So the, the chemistry is through the roof, and uh, and Phil truly believes that that we have a chance to to get promoted again. So what do you want to see over the next year now then? I'd like to see us continue to compete and to be at the top of that table and have a chance at the end to move up to the next league. You think it's doable? Absolutely. Wonderful. Okay, good luck today. Let's um, do some Welsh words because you know we we'll have to do a bit of work. Actually, you should say, let's say good luck to, to, to Wrexham. Okay. And I guess you want to do good luck to Wrexham and Philadelphia. Are you a, okay. bit, are you a bit torn today? No. <laughs> are you today. A bit, in that case, are you a bit worried about the, the Philadelphia fans no, throwing things I, at you? No, I will say that I, I think I showed my support last year. I went to the MLS Cup and I was wearing full Philly Union attire. By the way, the Union put out a tweet today with me wearing it was a shot across my <laughs> bow, but I'll take it in good spirits. And, uh, and, and unfortunately, the union lost last year to the, to the LAFC, but I was there, I was pulling for the union, but today I gotta go. Sorry guys, Sorry, guys. we're going for Wrexham. Yeah. This is the last game of the tour, but there have been some, some highs and low points of this tour. Talk about some of them. I'm sure a certain Paul Mullins name might come up in that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, it's been an honor to play um, some of these story teams. Chelsea, Manchester United, um, and, and to win against someone. and to win against uh, against uh, Manchester United's um, uh, youth youth team. So I'm not sure if that's their second team or their youth team, but uh, just a fantastic group of, of young men. And Chelsea obviously looked terrific, uh, and it was an honor to play uh, against the Galaxy as well. And they were really uh, great hosts, and we were uh, fortunate enough to come out with a win there as well. Uh, but what's so great about friendlies is that it's not really about the winning and the losing; it's about spreading the word of the game and spreading the, the love to, to so many Americans who might not necessarily uh, call themselves football fans. So yeah, the, the, the Paul thing is, is de devastating to the club, um, but again, it's a contact sport and things happen. And how's he doing? He's okay. I just texted with him this morning. Um, he's uh, in San Diego and he's going to come up and stay with us for a couple of weeks until he can leave and, and head back to, uh, to Wales. Back to Philadelphia. So Philadelphia is a really important place for you. Obviously, you grew up here, but we've talked about it before. There's a lot of similarities between Wales and Philadelphia. Can you talk to me a bit about that? Yes, I mean, just the, the, the people here and the ethos of, of the working class. Um, as I've, I, I, I've said many times in the documentary, I, when I first went to Wales, and specifically North Wales, I looked around, I just saw people that I recognized, people that I grew up with, people uh, who I have a common experience with. And so it's really beautiful to come back here to the city I grew up uh, in with so many people from that part of the world. And I hope that as they walk around, they can see themselves here too. And it's kind of where the story all began for you too, because it's where you uh, developed a love for sport, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's where I developed a love for all things Philadelphia. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia Phillies, 76ers, Flyers. Um, it was just a, a huge part of my life growing up. And as I grew older, I, it was only then when I started asking myself, why? Why do I care so much about these teams? And uh, I don't know that I had real answers to that until I was in my late 30s or early 40s, that I realized it wasn't specifically about what happens on the pitch, but what happens in the stands 
and then what happens when you go home and the stories we all tell ourselves and the relationships we have with each other and our communities that are most important. And of course the community which you know uh, has been such a big part of this story. What's it been like since uh, Wrexham have, have had that promotion? How have you felt the community reacted to that? Wow, uh, overwhelmingly positive. Um, it's, uh, we had that, that parade in the town and I think um, the local officials thought there would be about 20, 25,000 people to show up and there was 40,000 people. So it, was, it seemed and felt like the entire town ha had come out. The entire country. <laughs> yes, and it wasn't, uh, and I truly believe this, it wasn't to celebrate us and I don't even know that it was to celebrate the players themselves or the organization. Uh, what I like to believe is, is that it was people coming out to celebrate themselves and to celebrate the community all coming together as one and finally getting uh, what they deserve, which is a win. All right, Rob, as always, thank you so Good much. Good to see you, Maxine. Thank Good you. luck. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you.